Hello again, thank you for tuning in. Um, this is just a quick uh, watercolour demonstration of a cottage with a brilliant red roof out in the wilderness. It really stands out against the green foreground which you'll see towards the back end of the painting. I have lots of other paintings on YouTube if you're interested, please take a look. And also you might find something interesting on my website www.thepaintings.co.uk and I also do workshops and demonstrations and have various classes um, if you're interested in coming along and, and joining something. Uh, okay, well I hope you enjoy the demonstration and I'll speak to you again shortly. Well, as you can see now, I'm just adding a few trees around the cottage. This will help make the cottage stand out against the background. And now I need to work on the foreground. The background is still damp as you can see the trees are running down into that grass area in front of this building. I'm using quite bright colours along the path and then using a quite darker colour around the edge just to make sure the focal point stays along that track. Now I just use a little dark paint to highlight the path edge uh, along those fields while they're still damp. I should do the same on the left hand side as well. And this is the dark paint I spoke about earlier again, just on the left hand side of the path this time. It really does guide the viewer into the painting. Okay, I'm now using horizontal strokes to highlight the path. Um, what I will do is add some dark in the foreground of the path which will help to give the picture depth. Well, this is quite a good technique really, I'm just using a credit card now to scrape in the tops of some rocks. It just removes the paint and shows the paper beneath and then I should use a thin brush with some dark paint to highlight the shadows underneath those rocks.
And now I'm just using a rigger brush to flick some of that dark paint upwards, creating the effect of long grass in the foreground. And now I'm just using a stabbing technique with a pointed brush to create the canopies for the trees that I'll paint in later. What I'm doing now is just adding a small fence down the left hand side. Again it'll give the painting perspective and guide the viewer along towards the cottage. I'm now just using the very point of a small rigger brush just to add some tall trees uh, at the side of the cottage which I'll add leaves to later in the painting. And now just to add a little bit more detail at the side of the cottage, a small boundary fence. Okay, this is the first coat of paint to the red roof, then I drop in some real deep burgundy red um, and then a little brown just to give it a little bit of variety in the colour. It really does stand out against the greens, I'm sure you'll agree. The building still looks a bit flat, so I'm using a dark colour now to emphasise some shadow areas. And now just using the same dark paint, add three windows and a door at the front. With a rigger brush uh, and a dark paint, I'm just highlighting the tile lines in the roof now. And now again just to give the painting depth and foreground interest, I'm adding more boundary fencing. Okay, beneath the fence at the base of the posts, I just add a little bit of grass by flicking dark paint up and then use a very wet brush to soften the base and it gives a nice line of grass beneath those posts. And there's the leaves on the distant trees. 
complete with shadow and a little bit of dark paint added into the green. The light wall on the left hand side of the building just disappears a little bit into the background so I'm going to emphasise that light wall with a dark paint, uh, just adding a few trees and bushes in there. Well there we go, uh, there's the finished painting, quite dramatic from a limited palette I'm sure you'll agree. There are some more YouTube videos available if you'd like to watch them and if you want to have a go at this style of painting I've got some immediately downloadable painting guides on my website if you'd like to take a look and some painting kits. Um, I'm also on Facebook if you want to get in touch. Okay, once again, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.